Welcome back, Flu Flu FPV here, and today we're going to be doing some range testing with modified and unmodified Spectrum DX9 radios. So, it is pretty well known in the RC FPV part of things that Spectrum is not the gr greatest for FPV and just range. Or, sorry, range for FPV. Has good range without FPV, but as soon as you add in the 5.8 or 1280 uh, megahertz, then it starts to, the range starts to degrade quite a bit. So today, I decided to put that to the test. So, I hadn't had any fail safes or anything in my yard which is relatively small as you can see from my other videos and there aren't many reflective or electronically reflective surfaces and not not any thick amounts of cement that I would be flying behind so that wasn't a very good test of range so what I did was I went down to a park and decided to do some range testing so this is the general layout the all of the buildings are cement this building this building this building and this building are all solid poured cement while this building is a brick building covered with cement so it's not completely solid they're hollow bricks so this I decided this would be a very good test of the range and also the robustness of the spectrum link so so we were flying right we were I was flying from right about here and this building the inside structure sorry the inside structure there is a brick wall right there solid cement wall so my first test of range was to go taking off from here flying through this building and as long as I didn't fail safe there the rest of my plan was to go through this building and come back now that did not work I failed safe right here although that is pretty reasonable I mean from here to where we were flying from the corner of this barn to where we were flying was about 50 yards so I fail safe right here and so that was through two layers of concrete as well as probably about 100 yards away so or 75 yards away so I would say that's pretty decent now note this is with the unmodified radio so after doing this test I did my second test which was again taking off from here following this pattern but instead of going through this building I went up and came across here so knowing how far I went here I wasn't expecting very much going th through this uh, track because as far as line of sight that was going through one two and once you got over here three and four well I ended up fail safing right about here so I was going through about four layers of concrete plus the multipathing from reflected signals so I thought I thought that was pretty reasonable I mean it's not the best range but so I went from there and I did it 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 in me, the signal didn't just go didn't go mushy and then go into fail safe it was perfectly crisp and then went directly into fail safe so take what you want from that so now we'll go off to the video while we were there with the voiceover see you back all right so we're doing a dx9 range check so cement buildings lots of cement so not sure how well this is gonna do 
You almost not landed sure. in the roof there. Not sure how well this is going to do, but let's try inside this building first. You're in. I know. I'm just going slow. Okay, I still have signal, so that's a good sign. Ah. You should be approaching a wide open. Yep. Right through. Okay, so no issues there. Going into the second building. You have straight air shot there. Now you should be out of radio, direct radio. And we lost it. Okay, did you land it? Yep. Let's go look for a crack. So I'm going through that first building again. Not into the water. I feel like I already said that. I am not that stable. You are not that far off the ground. Okay, so first the through the first building again. Okay. Feel safe. Welcome back. So now that you've seen how the unmodified radio went, let's let's see how well the new radio, or sorry, the modified Spectrum DX9 with six decibel, with dual six decibel antennas, or DBI antennas, with no no uh, power boosting. So this was, I'll put some pictures up right about now, and now, with the pictures of the modification. So, as you can see, it, look, it does look kind of weird, but it works just fine. So, again, we were standing at this place right here, for our base, and I went through the first track. Oh, sorry. I did not go. I did not do the first track because I thought that I was just gonna be able to do it immediately, and it had rained recently, so there was a lot of mud right here. So I didn't want to risk landing, crashing into that. So once again, that brick wall was right about there. So I went through here. Again, no fail safe, so I was feeling pretty good about that. And then I cut across here. So once again. At this point, for a, for a short period, it was going through four layers of concrete plus the multipathing, and that's and I thought that I was going to lose it there because it did get a little bit mushy, just didn't feel crisp. But then as soon as I got to right about here, it got very crisp again. So I kept on flying, and. It decided to feel here. safe right about. But uh, go ahead and start your flight. Keep I'll keep an eye on them. Alright, test two modified antennas. Doing the same pattern as with the stock. Going through building number one. Perfect reception. Now I'm going through right here. As with test one, I still have signal. Oop, got a little mushy. Now, and fail safe. Arm one, arm two. So okay, fail now safe. that you have seen the complete testing with the modified and unmodified radios, I'd like to just do a very quick recap. So the unmodified the un, sorry, the unmodified DX9 was able to make it through four walls and about 50 yards away before it failed safe. And there was there was no loss of control. It just went from perfect to fail safe. The second test with the unmodified DX9 
Sorry, the first, technically. But that went through approximately, I'd say, 75 yards. But it was going through two layers of concrete. And that's where that failed safe. So once again, those are unmodified. So now for the uh, sorry uh, modified test with the two six decibel or uh, six dBi antennas on it, it successfully passed the first test, which was through this building. It surpassed the first, the unmodified one, the unmodified part where it went through the four layers of concrete and finally it made it all the way across this this large concrete building and got to right about here before it fail safe so I would say that's that's pretty reasonable I mean looking at how far it went compared to the unmodified I would say it was a success now comparing it to say an FR uh, sorry, uh, Free Sky Radio, the Tyrannus, or the Tyrannus QX7, which both have the, which both have identical, uh, transmitting modules. I'm not sure how that would do, because I don't own a Tyrannus or a uh, Free Sky. But I would have to say that if you have a Spectrum Radio and you're not afraid to go into the radio and change some things around, I would say that this modification was a success. So now, I'll leave you with some flight footage from the rest of the day. Please like, subscribe, comment, and keep on flying. So, I just want to say a couple things really quick. First of all, I will not be doing the flight footage from the rest of the day in this video. I'll put it in another video. Second of all, I would like to say that on the first test, with an unmodified radio, I there was a fairly large cement silo on the corner of the building. I don't remember if the silo was in between me and the quad when it fail safe. It might have been just on the edge, so that may have been what put the signal loss just. That might have just been what caused the signal loss. It was just on the edge of direct and second of all or third of all I would like to say that if I get enough response on this video for seeing the modification that I've that I've done on the radio I will post that so once I get a few guys saying they want it put it in the comments and I'll see what I can do finally I would like to say thank you to Ladrib for giving me the idea for the antenna modification and I'll put the Thingiverse file for the antenna mount in the description below. Both the dual antennas and the single antennas. So thank you for watching and see you next time.